Hello everybody! So this is BGD Addicts prompt number 47, which is the mega prompt, because we haven't done one in a while. I'm doing this on my phone, so this could be very interesting, especially this girl. Hello! So, um, there's three questions, and I'll answer each of them in turn. Um, so the first one is, what do you do when a doll you want has been discontinued? Now I had this happen to me back at the very beginning of the hobby, um, because at the time I was obsessed with Dollzone, and um, one of their SD girls was like my biggest obsession. She was kind of like my grail doll at the time. And she was, I can't remember her name now, but she was the one that was kind of like the Lotus. She was kind of like the sister sculpt of the Lotus because there was slightly different jawline or something. And I remember seeing that they were being discontinued. And at the time I did not have the money to even consider getting an SD sized doll. And I just remember crying and being very upset and looking at lots of owner pictures and just weeping and going, why can't I have her? Um, I know a lot of people sometimes do like the layaway option when it's really at that point where it's like they were never going to have this doll again. Um, but for me at the time, unfortunately, that was not an option. Um, the second question is, have you learned something about yourself um, from this hobby? Patience. Oh my God, I have learned I have so much patience. And you have to in this hobby because you have to save for the doll. Well, you have to find the doll first, save for the doll, buy the doll which can take, you know, six months to get to wherever you are. Then you have to either make clothes, do face and do face ups or send it away to someone for them to do it for you or commission someone to make you clothes and wigs and all these kind of things. And yeah, you need to have so much patience while you're waiting for your doll to kind of finally come together. And even then you'll probably change it. Like this girl's changed at least twice, um, probably three times since I've had her. So, you know, it's it's one of those things about the hobby, but I think it's a positive thing. Um, patience is definitely something we need to have more of in our lives, I think. Um, this is a good one. So what's your opinion of finding holy grail dolls? Now, as far as... I go with Grail dolls. I've changed my opinion of Grail dolls in the last little while because for ages I had it in my head that having um, a noble doll, a noble doll um, rhubarb, was like the absolute best that I could get, and that was like my Grail of Grails. And I still do love that doll. I, do not get me wrong, I absolutely adore her. But when I owned her, like as just like the whole thing, it just didn't do it for me and this is where I found the kind of hybrid thing kind of came in because I've started doing a lot more kind of hybrids um, that I originally ever thought I would end up doing in the hobby because as much as I love the body there's elements of the body that I didn't like so by combining two like two like you know the face with another body that I preferred it definitely kind of clicked more for me so I think there's sometimes the the, the line of Sometimes you'll have grail dolls that you just love looking at and you love seeing owner pictures and you love looking at them and just going, oh my gosh, look at how amazing this is and da 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 da. But then there's actual ones where you're like, no, I want to buy this doll. And I think you kind of realise after a little while kind of where that line is. I mean, I, if I had my way, I would end up having so many, like, many fees and so many, um, like, random hybrids and more SD girls and probably an SD boy and all this kind of stuff and it, it's just because I love looking at these dolls like the Kirby doll is a, a Yunho I adore looking at him but I don't think I'm ever going to own him and I don't think I want to own him It's but in my head he is like one of the grail ones where I'm just like oh every time I see it I just go oh I have a moment it's so nice but I think that's one of the nice things about the hobby is it makes you appreciate other people and what they do with their dolls so grail dolls are good but still have to be careful with how far you go with them, I think, depending if you want them or not. Anyway, I will call that a day for this prompt, because um, it's my third time trying to record this. So, um, I will see you guys really, really soon. You do the prompt now, you're challenged, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye!